We're here at the 2016 Pennsylvania Farm Show. I've got the opportunity to speak with Russell Redding, uh, who is the Secretary of Agriculture today. And we're going to talk to him a little bit about the great things that are going on at the Farm Show. Um, we just talked briefly, um, Secretary uh, Redding, about uh, the attendance this year. We've got relatively good weather uh, so far. We just had one little snowstorm, but really, some years it's a challenge. And how are things this year as far as attendance goes? Well, this year uh, we're expecting a big crowd. You know, for the 100th uh, uh, Farm Show, uh, it has lived up to that expectation. You know, we haven't had uh, you know, the the typical Farm Show weather, clear clear days. Uh, attendance has been amazing every day. You know, there's so many things. When I come here every year, I'm, I'm a little bit amazed at all of the moving parts of this event. And certainly you've got a lot of miles, I think. Uh, I don't know how many uh, steps it is from one side of this building to the other and in all the little nooks and crannies. But really to pull this off is a tremendous effort by so many people. Can you tell me a little bit about, more about the coordination and about um, your department, how you assist uh, them in the farm show uh, event itself? Well, to, to answer the question of, of, of the distance, so when you walk from this hall to McClay uh, Street and back, it's 1.1 miles. Uh, so I've done that a few times, but it just uh, to show the distance, 23 acres under roof uh, here. It's an amazing sort of and well choreographed uh, show. Uh, all of the full-time staff, 60 full-time staff here in the complex. This complex. Uh, you know, used uh, for 250 other shows throughout the year. I mean, so we'll do farm show, of course, that's the biggest and most complicated show. But we have uh, additional security in, uh, more security this year than maybe we normally have just because of the size of the show. Uh, all of the maintenance workers, um, you know, electricians and the folks who are doing technology stuff. So it takes a lot of people. And thousands of volunteers, which is the untold story, right? Every single piece you see here uh, has volunteers behind it. These are folks who take uh, a week's vacation to come down to the farm show to work. So it takes all of us. So it's, it's unique. You mentioned 100 years uh, of this event, which is so incredibly impressive. Uh, again, I'm impressed every year. And uh, then every day is a little bit unique. Today we're honoring veterans, and there's a great program in the uh, Commonwealth uh, to really talk about ag, uh, veterans, homegrown, uh, veterans and um, and how they're involved in the ag industry uh, and we've got somebody from Schuylkill County you've been to Hope Hill Lavender Farm uh, Troy Jockums is there and he'll be uh, recognized today and he's on a panel today can you tell us a little bit more about that program yeah so we're uh, first of all just honored to have uh, a day designated uh, in farm show for veterans to honor the veterans of Pennsylvania the second highest veteran population in America right here in Pennsylvania so taking time to recognize them is certainly important uh, as I've said many times, uh, you know, 2% of our population feed us and 2% allow us to sleep well. Uh, we really want to combine those 2% uh, here this year and recognize them in some special way. And then throughout the year, we realized that we really uh, had an opportunity to, to partner with a national organization uh, called Homegrown by Heroes. Their task and, and work is really to try to identify uh, uh, veterans in the marketplace. We wanted to combine that with our PA Preferred program, which is our trademark uh, Pennsylvania product program. We put them together. So when you see the Homegrown by Heroes label and the PA Preferred together, you know that that veteran, uh, like Hope Hill, uh, is somebody from PA producing a Pennsylvania product. So we're going we're to demonstrate that today, have a panel discussion about it, uh, and then spend some time honoring them this afternoon. Well, I think it's so important, and I'm so thrilled that the ag, uh, that the farm show is is taking advantage of the fact uh, that we're going to showcase uh, the things that support our economy and our society. And when you talk about veterans and you talk about agriculture, I mean, what could be a better place to go ahead and combine? Yeah, you, know, you do it here, right? And that's part of the great, um, great thing of having a show that is really a Commonwealth show, and, and as a department. We're honored to host it, but it belongs to the Commonwealth, right? So it really is important to make sure that our citizens are, uh, they see themselves here in some way, they see all of agriculture across the state here, uh, and the whole food system and all that goes with that. So to have a lavender producer doing some great things from your district, I was amazed when I was there to visit, absolutely amazed what they're doing. So yeah. it's great. It's, it's a great operation. Uh, so again, you know, every year, uh, you know, the, the uh, farm show's got some nuances and some headliners. And I think this year the headliner was a milkshake. We're going to unveil this milkshake on the 100th anniversary, and it's a, a strawberry cream milkshake. Uh, 
You know, the other thing I've heard is we don't have any ducks here this year, right? So we got some concerns about ag and another, again, another place to draw attention to the fact that there's some issues that the department is concerned about and works on and with, uh, with the uh, avian flu, right. there's some concern and I know that your department has concerns about that. Yeah, so the, the two most frequently asked questions for the farm show, what's the milkshake flavor, right? And that's been answered. And where are the, where are the ducks and chickens? Uh, of course, with the high path avian influenza uh, threat this past year, it hasn't been, been realized, and we're very fortunate not to have it here. Every day without it's a good day. Uh, we make sure it's, it stays out of Pennsylvania. But because of that threat, uh, you know, we really felt like it was a, uh, you know, a precaution that we had to take to not have ducks and other poultry here at uh, any of our county fairs this past year, but of course here at the farm show, just too much exposure. Third largest poultry producing state in the country. You've got a lot of poultry producers in, in your district as well. We didn't want to take the risk, but we want to have them back uh, for 2017 if at all possible. That's for sure. Now, you know, the, the department's uh, concern about the, about the avian flu um, you know, we've got uh, Penn State Ag Extension that does a ton of research, and, I, and I've seen some of the research that's been done, and I see the path, how it's moving throughout the, really the continent, and our concerns here. Um, you know, what's the department doing to address uh, the, the concerns that, that, that producers have about this threat? Yeah, so it's a great question. So <clears throat> we have um, you know, 11,000 uh, poultry producers in Pennsylvania, so not all of them commercial, but these are folks that may have some backyard or uh, smaller flocks. So our task really has been sort of raising the awareness of uh, good biosecurity. That has been proven to be the most important step in every other state that's had the threat and in some cases realized you've got to have frontline sort of biosecurity to make sure your farm and your poultry are, are safe. Uh, so we're, we've partnered with University of Pennsylvania Vet School, Penn State University Cooperative Extension, put a real push on to make sure that we're educating, engaging, planning. All of these farms need to have a, uh, a, a plan for how to handle high path AI if it occurs on their farm. All of the industry has worked with us in that partnership. And also making sure that, uh, that we have the surge capacity in our uh, diagnostic labs, which are connected, one at Penn, one at Penn State, one here in Harrisburg at our vet lab. We've tested that system pretty well and, and can, can say that we've got the, the capacity to do it. Uh, and we've had the support from the governor for, for funding to do that. So we're, we're, we're ready, but we're always sort of cautious just because of the number of farms and particularly since this um, uh, high path AI travels by uh, in, in, in the flyways with migratory ducks. Birds, yeah, right. Migratory birds, you know, that's a very big development from when we had high path AI uh, in, in the early 90s and early 80s. Okay, terrific. So I'm happy to know, and I know that our agricultural producers, particularly in the uh, in that area, um, are, uh, are can take some comfort in knowing that the administration and uh, and your department uh, are uh, keeping a close watch on this, and you're proactive at trying to make sure that our our flocks are safe here in the Commonwealth. Yeah, very much. And that's terrific. So, yeah. uh, look, I'm I'm proud to serve on the Ag Committee. I'm I'm proud to have gotten to know you. I'm happy that we get to do some uh, friendly competition sometimes here uh, at the farm I was hoping show. You'd bring had, that up. Well, we, and we had something the other evening. I mean, it's a great program. It supports it supports a youth scholarship program. Our number one industry here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, uh, like with any business that I see, an opportunity to uh, educate, uh, applicable and affordable education is so very important. And we don't have as many youth going into the into farming as we certainly did at one time. It's a huge concern for me, um, and I'm happy that we've got to, can support the scholarship program through some of these events that we're having. Well, let me first say thanks for your leadership on on uh, the, the ag committee. I mean, absolutely critical to understand. You know what what the district needs are you represent that well help give us good constructive guidance on high path ai and education and the dairy industry and so many other areas so first thanks for that i uh, really appreciate it uh, appreciate it your uh, sort of uh, uh, your spirit in in the uh, uh, draft horse hitch competition the other night uh, you're a little little modest uh, you won that right you got the blue ribbon so appropriate in this uh, blue ribbon experience here at the farm show you took one home so yeah well thank you i was fortunate enough to uh to just beat out the, the secretary by a little bit, and then my colleague Dan Mao had won it on two previous occasions. So it's a fun event, but it's for a great cause, and we're happy that we get a lot of sponsors to come in support agriculture. In this case, it was Yingling Beer that's, that uh, sponsored the uh, 
uh, the horse team that I drove, and uh, and it was a great evening. It was a great evening, you know, and, and, and both of us sort of had fun doing that, but uh, we're reminded of those uh, dollars are critical to the Scholarship Foundation, uh, which started some years ago as a way to recognize uh, the youth who participate in the farm show and who are pursuing higher education uh, maybe in preferred careers in agriculture, but not exclusively. All of those folks now have a new appreciation for ag and will be advocates for us. So it's really important to support them. So thanks for doing that. Secretary Redding, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your knowledge of all things that are agriculture here in Pennsylvania. This is your second time kind of around the, around the arena here as far as being the secretary. Uh, you know, your thoughtful consideration of the things that are so important to agriculture, the fact that it's our number one industry. I appreciate our friendship and look forward to working with you in the future. Yeah, that's mutual. You know, any day your vocation, avocation are the same, you're a lucky person. And that's where we find ourselves. So thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Well,